Attention Hogan's Heroes fans, are you ready for some behind the scenes hilarity that'll have you seeing the show in a whole new light? We've dug deep into the archives to uncover the most side-splitting bloopers and mistakes that the cast and crew would probably prefer to forget. Facts First presents This Photo Is Not Edited, Look Closer at the Hogan's Heroes Blooper. Workplace Drama It seems that Colonel Hogan's claim of being stationed at the Pentagon may not be entirely accurate. Unless, of course, he had a time machine and was working on its construction in 1942. The fact is, the iconic building wasn't officially completed until January of 43, which means every other instance where Hogan claimed to be stationed there couldn't have been true. Color Changing Uniforms As they say, the devil is in the details, and in Season 2, a minor wardrobe glitch caused a major stir. Blink and you might have missed it. During one particular episode, LeBeau's red hat inexplicably changes to green. Upon closer inspection, it turns out the actor was originally given a green hat for the first scene, only to have his signature red hat returned to him in subsequent shots. All patched up. In several episodes, viewers may have noticed that the eagle and swastika patch on the right breast of Schultz's tunic was oriented incorrectly, with the eagle facing the opposite direction. The eagle on the patch is supposed to face Schultz's left and towards his heart. Lost in Translation In the third episode, How to Win Friends and Influence Nazis, a classic blunder occurs when an important German document arrives and is marked top secret for the official's eyes only. While that might seem like a no-brainer to label such sensitive material with a clear warning, the fact that the document originated from the enemy camp makes this oversight all the more glaring. The document in question is presented to Colonel Klink by none other than General Burkhalter, a German officer who one would assume would not have stamped the words top secret in English onto a document of such sensitive nature. Forgotten Knowledge in the episode titled The Scientist, Carter mentions he can't teach LeBeau any chemistry because he only worked at a drugstore and not a chemist shop. But in a previous episode titled German Bridge is Falling Down, Carter demonstrated his knowledge of chemistry by making explosive chlorine gas from ammonia and bleach. Additionally, in a later episode called Hogan Springs, he had no trouble preparing a convincing batch of mineral water. Misleading Seasons in several episodes where winter scenes were portrayed with patches of snow on the ground, viewers may have noticed that trees still had leaves and green grass could be seen in the background. The Secret Mistress In several instances, Hogan's men or the Germans make references to Eva Braun, Hitler's mistress. However, Braun's connection to Hitler was a highly confidential matter that was only known to Hitler's inner circle and was not made public until after the war ended. Taken to the Cleaners Carter's beloved jacket, with its cozy sheep fleece lining, is practically a character in its own right, appearing in every scene and sporting the well-worn look of a trusted companion. But eagle-eyed viewers might spot an intriguing detail in Season 6. In one episode, the jacket appears inexplicably new, its once dirty surface now clean and shiny. Such a small detail, yet it raises tantalizing questions for true fans of the series. Serial Number Switcheroo Oh, Schultz, he just can't seem to keep his story straight. In the episode, The Flame Grows Higher, the beloved guard declares his serial number as 23789, only to later change his tune in Bombsight and claim it's actually 34789. While it's understandable that details like this can get muddled in the chaos of wartime, one can't help but wonder why Schultz didn't have his facts straight to begin with. Elementally Inaccurate during an easy-to-miss scene set in a German laboratory, a periodic table of elements can be seen hanging on the wall. Interestingly, the table displayed all 103 elements that were known to science in the 60s. But during the war period, only 92 elements were known, with the rest being created by nuclear science, including some that played a crucial role in the top-secret and world-changing Manhattan Project. Mouse from the Future the Perils of Historical Inaccuracy In a show set in the 1940s, it's a bit jarring to hear characters discussing a certain speedy Mexican mouse who didn't make his debut until the 50s. Yet, in Hogan's Heroes, Speedy Gonzalez is a topic of conversation on more than one occasion. 
While it may seem like a minor detail, this blunder speaks to the careful attention that must be paid to the historical context of any period piece. Of course, most viewers probably wouldn't have noticed the anachronism, but for those with a keen eye for detail, it's enough to raise an eyebrow. The Vanishing Well in the fifth season episode called The Well, a significant portion of the action takes place near a water well situated to the right and slightly behind Clink's office. Interestingly, this well is not visible in any other episode. Out of Place Palms When you watch Hogan's Heroes, you might notice that the outdoor scenes have a distinctly Californian feel to them, complete with palm trees dotting the landscape. While this might not seem like a big deal, it's actually quite interesting since Germany, where the show's set, doesn't have many palm trees due to its cooler climate. Next time you sit down and watch an episode, keep your eyes peeled for those exotic trees that don't quite belong in the show's setting. Sweet Kicks in the fifth season episode Standing Room Only, there's a noticeable blooper that might have slipped past the show's viewers during its initial run. During a shot where LeBeau climbs a ladder, he can be seen wearing high-top sneakers while the rest of the guys are sporting their military-issued boots. It's an amusing detail that adds a touch of humor to the episode and a testament to the show's enduring popularity that fans are still noticing these small but memorable moments today. Taking the Plunge one of the recurring plot devices on the show involves the prisoners receiving packages from a courier plane. As the plane drops its cargo with a parachute, Hogan would often observe the drop through his trusty binoculars. But keen-eyed viewers might notice a discrepancy. In the original frames, we catch a glimpse of the delivery man's legs as he jumps from the plane. Yet in later scenes, the prisoners are shown gathered around a package without any delivery man in sight. It's a small and intriguing detail that adds to the show's enduring mystique. Reverse Alchemy In the 18th episode, called The Gold Rush, Hogan and his team create steps leading to Commandant Clink's headquarters using gold bricks disguised as regular masonry bricks. But in the remaining 150 episodes, the steps seem to have reverted to the wooden ones seen before the episode, and the gold bricks were nowhere to be seen. Ahead of their time while historical inaccuracy, as we've established, is a crucial element in any period piece, it seems the fashion trends of the 60s couldn't help but influence the wardrobe choices of the ladies on Hogan's Heroes. Despite being set in the 1940s during World War II, the female characters on the show often sported styles more reminiscent of the era in which the show was produced. While it may raise some eyebrows for those seeking a more authentic portrayal of the time period, it's hard to deny the appeal of the chic and colorful ensembles that grace the screen. I can see clearly now. During the initial season's episode, Hello Zolly, sharp-eyed viewers would have spotted Major Zolly's glasses were evidently fake during any close-up shots. Surprisingly, they didn't have any lenses. Similarly, in the sixth season's The Dropouts episode, Professor Bauer's glasses were also missing the essential lenses, leading to yet another noticeable blooper. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised to learn about any of these bloopers, mistakes, and anachronisms? Let us know in the comments section below.